The Gospel of Gold by G.S. Lewis Chapter 32 Lurking Influence When Gold finally left Apollo to reunite with the others at Morty's gym, he found Lance waiting for him, tucked beneath the shade of the West City gatehouse. He was wearing a black and purple hoodie that Morty had lent him, which covered his bandages and distinctive red hair. At the Dragon Master's beckoning, Gold hurried over, checking to make sure that nobody was around. For a split second, he thought he saw a flash of yellow and a humanoid shape disappearing behind a tree, but it was gone when he looked again, and Lance remained. Somebody went a little off script, Lance chided gently. Gold looked at him in mild alarm, forgetting the tree creature. I did the best I could, Lance smiled. I know you did, and it's a miracle how seriously he ended up taking you. We didn't get all that we wanted from Apollo on tape, but it's enough. I'm glad that you and Morty are friends. It really helped that he let us use the recording software from his gym. Thanks. Gold looked back at the ruins of Burn Tower from where he had emerged. So, are you going to guard him now? I thought you wanted to avoid contact with Archer, lest he figure out we're working together. That won't be necessary. Lance turned his gaze to the more distant Bell Tower, shining brightly in the mid-morning sunlight. The Phoenix assured me that Apollo would be watched. She herself departed to her tower, but one of the three stands sentinel now. Raiku, Ente, or Suikun? thought Gold. Okay, so did Spirit say what she wanted us to do now? Lance gave him a look, but Gold could not quite grasp its meaning. No, she didn't. The last thing she said was that she needed to be alone for a little while. Do you know anything about that? Gold blinked and shook his head. Uh-uh. Hmm. Well. Lance shrugged and flinched and Gold found himself reminded that the champion was still extensively injured, despite his best efforts to cover it up. We have more than enough to think about in the meantime. Plans. I need to reclaim my league team somehow, and send out a statement that the whole region will see, with edits from Apollo's confessions filtered in. As for me, said Gold, feeling a sharp twist of homesickness in his stomach. I want to see my dad. He's gotta be back in Ecritique by now, and I have so much to tell him. His shoulders suddenly felt very heavy, and he slumped over. <sighs> but it doesn't feel right. Genichi's parents are still somewhere in town, and they have no idea that their son is currently the hostage of the Johto League. Yes, that is a problem, Lance agreed. And the city ought to be assembled and informed. I'll handle that task, as it ties together with what I'm doing. He put a consoling hand on Gold's shoulder. Marina's gone to see her parents. You should do likewise. Yeah. Gold turned to go, but stopped after only a step. Lance? Hmm? Gold furrowed his brow. <sighs> I'm still winding down from that talk with Archer. Can I ask you something about him? What is it? Lance inquired, eyeing him attentively. He's your cousin, and you knew him. He's from the same gifted bloodline. But... Gold pushed a hand through his hair, frustrated. How can someone that brilliant still be so stupid? The question must have taken Lance off his guard, for he gave a startled laugh. <laughs> stupid? In what way? He asked. Gold flailed his arms inarticulately, trying to explain himself. Okay, maybe stupid isn't the right word, but, like, 
He unironically told me that he was getting a firmer grip on reality with every milestone he achieved. Just before that, he basically told me that killing for power was okay if he did it, but not if someone else did. The double standard didn't bother him at all. Ah. Yes, that's Apollo for you, Lance said with a pained smile. Smart enough to attend Ivy League schools, but he'll reject your reality and substitute his own. He sighed. <sighs> As if one can just wish away all the empirical experience of human history. It's not stupidity, but rather the blind folly that comes with pride. Lance furrowed his brow. The latter is worse. If he'd really been blind to all the wickedness he's helped to cause, I could have hoped for his redemption. But since he claims to see, his guilt remains. At that moment, a thought occurred to Gold, and he felt abashed to have not considered it sooner. So, you would still save him if you could? He's family, replied Lance emphatically. How can I give up on family? And think of the good he might have done if he hadn't shut his eyes to the concept of good and evil. Lance looked at Gold. I was watching that footage live as you went. When Apollo spoke of that euphoric feeling as his one true motive, the one he gets when gaining power, he dismissed its actual purpose. Feeling good is not but the drive for doing good. Catching and raising my team of dragons was hard, and it felt good to see all that work pay off. The champion stared off in the distance at the faraway Indigo Plateau. Yet in the big picture, it will only matter what I did with that superior power. <sighs> May I prove a worthy man. He frowned. But as for Apollo, I'm afraid history will disregard his dopamine addiction and remember him only as a blight on men and Pokemon. Still, it's not over for him yet. Gold was about to ask him what he planned to do with Apollo when Morty appeared on the road. He was running toward them at a full sprint, and Lance frowned at the gym leader's reckless behavior. It would draw attention, which was the last thing they needed. Nobody else appears to be around, Gold thought thankfully. But what could possibly be the matter? Mr. Lance! Gold! What are you still doing out here? Come to the Ecritic Gym! Morty panted, beckoning furiously at them. I'm taking care to be discreet, said Lance calmly, starting forward. Why the rush for cover? I left the feed running on Apollo's camera, Morty replied as the three of them walked briskly back. And I saw something ominous. I sent Gengar to check, but it was gone before he got there, and he didn't report anything unusual when he returned. I'm gonna check in the burn tower myself real quick. I'll see you at the gym. Hold up, called Gold as Morty sprang away. What do you mean, ominous? but he was already too far off. There was nothing to do but wait.